What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad, and today guys, I want to review Michael Winner's 1977 supernatural horror film, The Sentinel, directed by Michael Winner himself, and co-produced and co-written by Mr. Winner, and of course Jeffrey Convitz, the latter of who is the author behind the novel of the same name, which this movie is based on, and this film tells the tale of this woman named Alison Parker. Alison Parker, who is a gorgeous model, who is also quite a neurotic, because she suffers from mental illness which was caused because of an affair that her father had with two women and because of this she committed suicide because her father cheated on her mother, his wife, multiple times and she did nothing because she did not want to be alone and she had nowhere else to go and because of this, Alison Parker tried to do better and tried not to be her mother, to be married to a man who would cheat on her and she would have to stay with him because she has nowhere else to go to but unlike her mother, she herself became a mistress to this man, this man being Michael Lerman who is played so well by Chris Sarandon and Michael Lerman's character is a lawyer who he himself has cheated on his wife multiple times and Alison Parker is his accomplice, rather she is his mistress and because of her multiple suicide attempts and because of her guilt from within she suffers from mental illness and this causes a huge strain in her relationship with the man she is to be married with, that being Michael Lerman, to avoid any drama and any conflict with her beloved man, the man she is to marry. Alison Parker tries her very best to live independently and without her man because this is a test for her to see whether or not she can live on her own and not depend on her husband 24-7 or rather the man who is to be her husband and become just like her mother, someone who is relying on another man and not so much on herself and her own skill and to understand what it means to be independent, she starts off by buying this apartment somewhere in Brooklyn. This apartment seems very beautiful and seems like a place she can live in, but what she does not know is that this place is haunted by multiple figures. These figures are a group of people who are the biggest degenerates, freaks, weirdos, and misfits you can possibly find, but Allison sees through that and sees them to be kind people who welcome her in, but that's what she thinks because this place place once again is haunted and what happens next is for you guys and gals to find out but the sentinel is without question one of my all-time favorite horror films because this movie is so bizarre so creepy the group of people are an example of how bizarre this film is because they are the biggest weirdos and misfits you can find and this film above all else is so scary so frightening and god almighty so disturbing Alison Parker Chris Sarandon and Burgess Meredith who plays one character, one of the misfits who has a pet cat and a pet bird. He is so creepy but kind of sweet too but that's all an act because he is so creepy and is quite a prude as Chris Sarandon's character Michael Lerman describes him as being but Alison Parker being so naive and so misled she thinks of him as a cute man, a cute old man but hey I guess you have to respect a lady's opinion. Chris Sarandon Brandon as Michael Lerman is so gorgeous, so charming, and quite a dick at times, but his character is someone yours truly loves so much, because obviously I love gorgeous men, and I love gorgeous actors who play gorgeous men so well, and Michael Lerman as a lawyer is very flawed, and he may not be the best husband, or soon to be husband, but he does care about Alison Parker, and the actress who plays Alison Parker is quite good herself, I don't know the actress's name, but I do know that she is so good in this film and the actress years later has retired in 1991 to become a nurse, a nurse who's registered in this hospital where they take care of people, people who suffer from kidney disease or kidney cancer. She seems to be very happy where she's at right now in her life and for that yours truly is very happy for her and I wish her the best. We got two supporting roles by Eli Wallach and the up and coming Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken who is mostly 
silent, but Christopher Walken is just gorgeous as well. Not as gorgeous as Chris Sarandon, but still quite gorgeous. And Eli Wallach is so much fun to watch. I mean, Eli Wallach and Burgess Meredith, these two old timers are having so much fun with their roles, whether as a detective or this creepy old man. And it's so much fun to watch both of them because obviously I love Burgess Meredith, Mickey himself from Rocky, and Eli Wallach, Tuco from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And these two are my bae. Oh yeah. Near the very end of the film, it gets so creepy, so weird, and very frightening. And without any spoiler, I was blown away by this film, the ending, the performances by every actor, and of course the story of the Sentinel, whatever that is, is for you guys and girls to find out. But that's Michael Winner's The Sentinel. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out my gaming channel where I do Let's Play series, gaming content, all that kind of good stuff. And until next time, peace out, take care, adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.